Organizing the files on your computer can seem really overwhelming when you have lots of files to move from one place to another, maybe folders to create, and then long, long lists of files you need to move in and out of those folders. This is especially overwhelming if you don't know the quick ways to do these things. That's why I'll show you the shortcut to move many files at once today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you the shortcut to move many files at once on your computer, and this can actually be used in your email as well. It's slightly different in email, and we won't go through those differences, but it's very similar, and you can use these tricks in a lot of different places. We'll go through how to move many files that are together, so they're in a row or adjacent to each other. We'll also do cherry picking, as I like to call it, which is when the files aren't right together. So maybe they're in the same screen, but they're one here, one in the middle, one at the bottom, and you can cherry pick or choose those individual items. And I'll explain why I call it cherry picking in a bit. I'll also briefly go over the difference between cutting and copying, and then some shortcuts on how to do that as well. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get to the place where you need to remove or copy the files. So once you're in there, then you want to have a good idea of what you're wanting to accomplish. Are you needing to move these files? Are you needing to copy these files or some combination of those? What I would tell you between cutting and copying is that cutting will take it from one place and move it to the other. That's what I usually recommend, especially if you're organizing things on your computer. Copying will do exactly that. It will make a copy. It basically copies it and then puts it in a second location. The reason I don't recommend doing this unless you are needing those copied items to give to someone else or to put on a flash drive to take and access somewhere else. Um, the reason I don't recommend doing copying except in those instances is because copying makes multiple copies on your computer and they are not tied together. So that means that if you make a change in one of them, it will not change in the others. That's why I would say probably 80 to 90% of the time you'll want to cut and paste rather than copying. The first example we'll go through is cutting and pasting. This is where we're going to move a group of files and we're going to completely remove them from the first place and put them in the second place. The first step, if they're all adjacent to each other, all those files are together, will be to click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and this works for both Windows and Mac, hold down the shift key and click on the last one in that row and you can see everything in between highlights. This is going to allow you to do the same action with all of those items at once. The next piece that we will do is to cut these. And so remember, we're going to remove them from this location. There are three different ways to do this. One way is to go up here and find your cut, your little scissors, and it'll look slightly different on a Mac. You may have to go to file and cut or edit and cut but it will be somewhat similar to this. You'll find cut. You can also do a right click anywhere in the blue area. And on a Mac, sometimes if you have a flat mouse or a trackpad, you may do a double tap, a double finger tap. Sometimes that's kind of hard to do, but give it a try. It's a two finger tap if you have a trackpad or you have a flat mouse that's usually associated with Macs. Um, for those with a regular mouse, that's kind of the rounded type of mouse with two keys, you'll do the right click and you can choose this copy here. And what I find to be the quickest way, the third way to do this, and again, you can see if you click away, you may lose what you did. That's okay. Just click on it, hold down shift, click on the last one in the row. The easiest way to cut or copy is to learn your shortcut keys. And the shortcut for cutting is control X or on a Mac, Command X. So I'm gonna use Control X on my keyboard. We don't see much of anything change, except that you can see these right here got a little more faded. And that means that there's an action being taken with them. They have been cut and they are going to be removed and pasted somewhere else. 
So now we've done all of our pieces. We've selected everything and then we've cut them. Now we need to select where we want to paste them. In this case, I just wanna move them into this low priority folder. If you have other folders that are in other locations, it might be easiest to navigate on this left-hand menu and go to whether, wherever they're located. Sometimes it's this PC and documents because that's an easy way to navigate without losing sight of what you've got right here. But in this case, I'm going to go into my low priority and we want to be inside the folder where we're going to paste those items. Once you're there, you can right click or two finger tap and you can do paste. You can also use the paste up here in your menu. Again, on Mac, that might be file and paste or edit and paste. And then our shortcut, remember, Control or Command X was cut. Control or Command V as in Victor is how we would paste. And I'm going to do that now. And you'll see all of those move at the same time. And what I did to get rid of the blue, they were all highlighted. I clicked away in the white space, and now they're not highlighted anymore. When I go back to my resources folder, either by using my little back key here or by using these breadcrumbs, that's what this is called here. Once I go back there, we can see that those files are now gone. Now we'll try doing one where the files are not right next to each other. And so the shift option will not work. Let's say I need to actually copy this time a few things that I need to put into Dropbox so that my friend can access them. What I would do in that instance, again, I would click on the first one as usual. Let's say we needed this one here. And then I have a couple other ones down in the list that aren't right next to this. What I do for the shortcut here is to hold down control or on a Mac, hold down the command key and hold it this whole time while you're cherry picking. And the reason I call it cherry picking is the C. C for cherry picking, C for control or command. And so that helps you remember where it's, whether it's the shift key that you need or whether it's the control or command key that you need. So we'll hold down our control or command and then we'll cherry pick our other options. So let's say that one I need, this one I need, and this one at the end I need. Once you're done selecting them all, you can let go of the control or command and then any action you take, if you're going to do the right click or the two finger tap, needs to be somewhere in the blue. And this is true on either kind of computer. As a reminder, we can go up here and this time we would want to copy. So here's our copy option. If we want to use this again on a Mac, go to file and copy or edit and copy, depending on what you have. You can do the right click option to copy. And again, a two finger tap is the option on a flat mouse. And then the shortcut is to do a command or control C. On a PC, it's control C and on a Mac, it is command C. I'm going to use that option. I'm gonna use control C on my computer. And you can see nothing really changes. The fading of the pictures that happened before doesn't happen here because the faded picture means that it's going to be removed. Copying does not remove. So nothing really changes, but as long as you hit that command or control C, you know that you did what you needed to, then you can navigate to where you want those to be copied. And let's say I want this in my Dropbox and I will do my control V as in Victor to paste those, or again, you can right click and choose paste. Now I can navigate back to the original location if I want to make sure that they still exist there, because remember we're copying. And I did this because I have a friend who needed access to those documents, but they aren't going to get changed at that location. So my originals, I want to keep on my computer in a safe place so that I know where they are and they're in my folder structure. So we'll navigate back to the original location and we can see those documents are still in here. One other way you can use this shortcut is to select a group. Let's do that again. Let's do our cherry picking method. We'll click and hold down control or command and we'll select those same ones we selected before. And this time I'm going to show you how to click and drag. If you are familiar with using this left-hand menu, 
This can work really well for you. If you're not real well versed using the left hand menu, use the other options that we talked about before. Many of my clients have been confused by whether clicking and dragging is a cut and paste or whether it's a copy. And here's the difference. If you are clicking and dragging from one folder on your computer to another folder on your computer, it's going to assume that you don't want to make duplicates on your computer. So it's going to cut and paste those. If you are clicking and dragging from a folder on your computer to a flash drive, let's say, or to your hard drive, a plugged in external hard drive, then the computer assumes that you want to keep a copy on your computer and put one on that external location as well. So it will actually make a copy in those instances. So that's the difference. That's what you wanna keep in mind as you're working through this. For our example, we'll be moving from a folder on the computer to another folder on the computer. So we've got our options selected. Click anywhere in the blue. I'm gonna grab right here and I'm gonna click and drag it over to my documents folder. So I'm going to do that right now, click and drag, and you can see it's showing me I'm moving four things. You can see that little number four. And then I want to make sure I'm right on top of documents so that it's blue. If you hang out there long enough, it will open it up so that you can see all the different folders if you need to move to one of those folders. But I just want to put it in the general documents folder. I'm going to drop this. And you can see they disappear from here because as we said, the computer assumes that you want to move it from that folder to another because you're organizing things on your computer. Learning new ways of doing things can be really hard. So be patient with yourself as you learn this process and start to use these different shortcuts. There was a lot of information presented, so you may need to watch some of the video a second time. Once you get used to this process and start using it frequently, it will become second nature. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. And also questions can be put down in the comments as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button below. Once you do, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on that, that gives you notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.